Yo, what's up? This is Tierra Thomas, and you are watching Made in the District. Tiara yeah, Brown here with Tierra Thomas. What's up? I'm good. How's it going? I'm good. I like that Snapchat at the end. Oh, um, and you know what? It deleted, cause you know you know how Snapchat works, right? No, I'm not. You, you gotta put well, it like it's up. really easy for it to like for you to accidentally delete it, and so I had my phone in my hand. I was trying to make sure I didn't touch any buttons, okay. and when I got off stage, it wasn't there anymore, and I was like, wow, of Dang. course, of course. Yeah, back up there later on. I know, I'm like, hey guys, can we try this one more time? <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? what what what's going on with you musically? Um, well, I've been dropping new music uh, from my upcoming project called Up in Smoke, so I've dropped three songs from that. Um, I finished up, well, I'm finishing up my album, The Bad Influence, and um, that's going to come later on this year. So, yeah, I'm just dropping music and having fun with it, you know, kind of building up my fan base. A lot of videos, beautifully shot. Uh, where are you from? Well, I know you're from Indiana, but where are you, where are you based now? Um, I'm from Indianapolis, but um, I live in Miami right now. Okay. Yeah. How's Miami? It's very warm. And you know what? I looked at the weather before I got here and it said it was going to be 61 degrees and the straight up lied. So like <laughs> it was I, a lie. Yeah, it was a lie, a black lie. So I packed all this like shorts and cute dresses and stuff. You think 61 degrees is some short weather? I mean, for performing, I thought it would be cool, but you know, just like 20 minutes, but no, it's it's pretty cold outside. Look, so I want to get into your music, right? Um co-writing and co-producing right. bad with Wally. How was that experience? Um, it was fun. I actually wrote that song in my college dorm room. I saw that. Yeah, it was just something I, I, I did on the guitar. I was doing a cover to that Trivial song, Some Cut. And um, I yeah, produced it with my friend in, in, in the bedroom. And we put it on YouTube and Wally heard it. He wanted to put it on his mixtape and he put it on his mixtape and it, it became this, this big song. Yeah. And it turned out to be, you know, this huge record. I don't know if any of y'all have ever even heard this song. But if y'all have, I want y'all to sing along with me. researching you and you're talking about female liberation what does that you know what does that mean for you just like you know women being comfortable being themselves you know a lot of the time like I don't know you feel like you have to do something be a certain way for other people's approval a lot of women feel that way so I, I just feel like you know just be yourself be comfortable in yourself and you know it like you know feel sexy feel good feel beautiful doing it yeah, and I also want to say, you know, there are so many uh, young ladies out there that have body image, you know, thoughts and concerns. What do you say to, to ladies who have uh, body image, especially teenagers? You just got to be, you just got to learn to love yourself for who you are and, and learn to see the beauty inside of yourself because there's always going to be someone that you feel is prettier than you or has a better body than you or you know does something better than you so you have to be able to be comfortable in your own skin because at the end of the day you're the only person who has to live with yourself so you know you got to kind of make the most of that <laughs> I want to say, I have to say that we have a lot in common, right? We both were raised in a church. Yes, I was raised in church. And you were not able to listen to secular music? No, not really. Um, I remember I had this, um, I had a little Bow Wow CD, and it was the, I don't remember what album it was, but it was the one that had Take You Home that I said, Lil Bow Wow, you just don't know. The, so, yeah. yeah, it was pretty clean. And um, my mom found that CD and she, she like made me throw it away. How was that? Uh, I still would sneak and listen to music. Um, I had like my older brother or kids at school would burn CDs. You know that was really hot. Yeah, that that was really hot back when I was in middle school. People burning CDs and you have your portable CD player and stuff. So my friends would pass on their CDs and I would be listening to that at night or on the bus ride home from school. So um, it was hard, but I kind of discovered music for myself. We had MTV VH1 blocked on, uh, yeah, on cable. 
You know, you can like like a parental advisory thing where you got to put in a passport. Yeah, man, they was real serious about raising us. Yeah. So, um, but I, I found my way to to listen to the music that I liked, and it worked out. Let's talk about that, Tiara. <laughs> uh, so there's a, there's a big movement, right? The legalization, the decriminalization of, of marijuana. Uh, what are your thoughts, and what, what's going on in the in our country specifically? I say, don't do drugs. Just kidding. Um, I don't know, don't do drugs, but I don't really consider weed a drug. And I feel like people make such a big deal about it. And a lot of people, like, they judge weed and they've never even smoked before. And that really bothers me because, like, you never know. You could hit a blunt and be like, oh, yeah. Weed should be legal everywhere. Um, so I'm going to go with Waka Flocka's approach on that for president. I'm probably not going to vote for him, but I do agree with um, with the legalization of weed worldwide. So this is not an endorsement of Waka Flocka for president? It's an endorsement for marijuana. Okay, indeed, indeed. So we have a gift for you. I'll, I'll thank you. I want to give you a gift, right? Yes, we have a gift from Broccoli City. This is from Tailored Rebels. I want to give this to you. You can absolutely, absolutely. Tailored Rebels? Okay. What do we have here? Some merchandise. We have some merch. Let's see. I'm going to open it up. I think it's a sweatshirt. And if it is, I'm really happy about that because I actually really love sweatshirts because I'm always cold. Is it a medium? It's, it's going to fit me. Are you saying I'm a medium? It's a small, so it's a very good quality sweatshirt. Um, so I'm actually probably going to put this on before I go outside. So thank you very much. Is there oh, more? hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. There's more. It's the mo in here. Yes, I am. It's like Christmas. Yes. Green Christmas. There's nothing crazy gonna pop out of here, right? And it's a mug. And you know why I'm gonna use this? Because I drink coffee every morning or tea before I go on stage. So. Um. No, it's not. I don't think it's organic. It's like some caramel honey tea, and I, you know, put a little pizzazz and stuff in there. So this will be great for my morning tea or my morning coffee. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for the gifts. I'm going to put this sweatshirt on right now. Broccoli City all day. Broccoli City all day. And I'm going to put, like, some organic shit in this mug. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you.